Hello and welcome back to another video. I'm glad you're here. Today I'm going to be showing you my homemade planer jig using a router. Uh, it's on, on this homemade gantry. Slides on these rails and it has the bed down here. And what this is for, we're going to take a piece of wood like this. It's just a big slab that was cut off a tree with a chainsaw. But as you can tell, there's a lot of rough edges on it. There's a lot of just roughness from the chainsaw. It's not a real smooth cut. And the idea with this is to use this router with a bit, something like this. Anything that makes a flat bottom will work for this process. The router itself is just mounted down with screws here in the back. It's mounted to this piece of pine. It's just flat, straight piece of wood. And the idea is that we're going to use hot glue to secure the piece down to this table and we're going to shim it up to take any wobble out of it before we hot glue it down and then this is going to pass over it making the cuts and what that's going to do is we're going to come down a little bit at a time taking small passes across the top of this to flatten it out and then once we get all the way down We'll make one more good pass and clean everything up and then this will be a flat uh, should be flush surface up here and then detach the piece detach all the hot glue uh, just use a chisel or something just something just to pull it out get rid of the hot glue and clean up the surface again flip the piece over and repeat the process at that point one side will be flat so it'll be a lot easier to do on the second one because once we flip it over it will already be flat on here so just made using three quarter inch particle board you can use mdf or any other kind of material you want uh, the main thing is just that it's stable and has a nice flat surface and you can see what i've done here is i put screws in each piece there's a bunch of pieces on here and what this allows me to do is add or remove sections to make up for the height and what you want is when you go to start you want to make sure that ideally your the top of your rail here is just a little bit higher than the piece you're working with you don't want the gantry riding up on top of the piece you want it to have as little of a gap as possible and that's just going to be able to get you more passes with the throw of the router as it goes down so let's get everything set up take a look at how it works and we'll go on and plane this side down flip it over do the other side and then we'll take a look at our finished piece as you can see the piece has got a wobble to it i'm just going to take a shim a little small piece of wood put it underneath to where it doesn't move around that looks really good there. And we're going to take our hot glue. And make sure it's connected to the piece and the table. I'm also going to put some over top of the shim to make sure that doesn't move and we don't have any problems out of it. And I'm just going to keep going intermittently. About every two to three inches, I'm going to make a one, about a one inch bead of hot glue. It doesn't take a whole lot, but you want to make sure there's enough that it's not going to move during the process. She worked at the Ruby Bonita, longest legs in Mexico City. Also, just the way this is done is... This is just mounted to this board and there's a hole drilled down in there big enough for the bit to come through you can see it right there and these are just handles that I can hold to move the gantry back and forth they're a little bit wider than this is it gives me a little more stability and I'm not moving this in the process so as you can see you want to drop the bit down just enough to where it's going to take a small pass off of this. 
You want to do light, small passes coming down with the bit in small increments and go over the whole thing until you've got it where you want it. But you don't want to come way down like this and try to take a big chunk of it out. You don't want to try to hog it out or anything. Um, it could be hard on the router. Uh, it might tear up the wood. You don't want to risk messing anything up. So just small light passes. Um, get this thing set up. Put on some ear protection. And then we'll get started. So we're going to go on and make our first pass. I'm going to squeeze the trigger to start the router. And I'm going to use this lock button right here to keep the router on so I can move my hands out here to the handles. And then I'm going to slowly bring it towards me. I'm going to back out, bring it over a little bit, bring it towards me all the way through the piece each time. Coming out and around and then back in. What that's going to do is keep me from going back and forth over the same spot. It's going to make a cleaner cut. So let's go on and get going and take a look at it. She stood all alone at the bus stop For fear she was willing to be The blood that ran down to her bare feet Came from the switchblade she taped to her leg Her mother named her Katerina But all the boys knew her as Kitty She worked at the room so you can see from that pass, not a whole lot came off of it, but I wanted to get that high spot down before I came down anymore. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the router down another maybe eighth inch and then make another pass and do it again. And then maybe another eighth inch after that and we keep going until the whole thing is flat and smooth the way we want it. Longest legs in Mexico City. She had to get out of this ghost town The building would take a while to burn They called it the Ruby Moeta Since the bartender swallowed the world Oh, she smoked a cigarette that she stole from Jesus And the thought of him brought her to tears What could have been without the So now you can see here, the piece is fairly flat, really good. It'll be sanded at the end, but right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the glue, the shim, all this stuff. I'm going to clean all this off, flip this over, and do it again, and then we're going to sand it and take a look at the whole thing and see what it looks like. And something like a chisel something fairly sharp to just kind of get get in behind the glue and come under it as well and once you can get a hold of it pull it out repeat the process a few times Now, once you get a few of them off, do this with a hammer. This chisel is pretty sturdy. Get underneath of it, and it'll pull off. Set that to the side. And then you just come in with your chisel and come in and clean up all the hot glue. Now 
Make sure there's no excess hot glue anywhere. And the piece we just did is ready to be flipped over. And you can see it's flat on here. Not a lot of play in it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hot glue it again. Hot glue it down to this. And we're gonna make the same passes over top of this side. And clean up both sides so they're both flat, smooth, and parallel. And then we'll sand them down and then they'll be used in a future project. Alright, so there's the other side. Um, the router bottomed out, and the next step would be to take one of these layers off to bring it down to where the router would reach it. But for this particular project, this one little section right here not being done isn't going to affect me. That's not going to be seen anyway for what I'm doing with it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it hot glued this time, and I'm going to go ahead and sand this down with uh, 80 grit and then take a look at it if we think we need to we can go to 120 grit and of course you can go as high as you want but it's gonna have a clear coat shot on it anyway uh, so I'm gonna go on and sand this down we'll flip it over sand the other side she told him she would always love him then she kissed him and burned the remains So there it is, all nice and flat and smooth on both sides. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go put a clear coat on it just to give you a better idea of what this is going to look like when it's finished. A lot of this grain you'll be able to see is really going to come out of this. It's really going to make it pop. It's going to add a lot more detail than it already has. So I'm going to go shoot a clear coat on it and we'll come back and look at it. So here's a better look after it's all clear coated real good put another coat on it see it's got a nice shine to it nice slick finish on it like so you see how the colors just really pop out just makes everything look better and it gives it a better finish overall it'll help it last longer and everything else so that's pretty much it for this one if you like the content here don't forget to subscribe leave a like and comment on this video and all the other videos and we'll see y'all next time take care that's not what I meant to say. No, that's not what I... Wait, what was I going to say? <laughs>